Hi there, welcome to this program. In this program, you're going to discover how to strike it big and earn big money as an internet marketing consultant or coach. And I want you to know that anyone can do this. You don't have to have years and years and years and years worth of experience or be some kind of guru, be some kind of big named celebrity in order to do things like this. You can make a lot of money as a consultant and coach. And in this program, I'm going to share with you all the steps it takes, all the insights and secrets that it takes. I've generated millions of dollars coaching and consulting people over the years, been doing it for many, many years. So I'm going to cover all the ins and outs and everything that I've discovered and learned over the years that's helped me earn money as a high priced consultant and coach. So why coach in the first place or why mentor people in the first place? Well, first of all, it's huge demand. Absolutely huge demand. A lot of people out there just understand that they can't figure it out all by themselves. They can't figure out how to, you know, go out and buy books and study different types of books and piece it all together, connect the right code in order to, um, you know, break through and be successful at whatever it is they're trying to achieve. So like in internet marketing, a lot of people, you know, they don't understand how to connect all the dots as far as how to get traffic, how to convert that traffic, how to create products, how to, how to handle the technical side of things. Um, how to handle the mindset side of things, where to start, how to handle information overload, how to focus, uh, being paralyzed uh, with uh, over-analysis. I mean, the, the list goes on and on and on, right? So they look to people who've been there, done that, or who have been able to break the code, who've been able to piece it all together just right. So, um, so these people, your customers, your clients, are able to have big breakthroughs and you know, a lot of times they can't see the forest for the trees and they need someone to help them out. And a lot of people understand that coaching, consulting, uh, mentoring is the shortcut to success, which it is. So that's why they're willing to pay the big bucks because they're looking for the quicker, faster, more customized approach to success. Now, uh, and not to mention an ebook's not going to interact with you and help you to discover what your challenges or barriers are. So a, r a real human being who's been there and done that, who does this, uh, uh, consulting and consulting is, is, is really the fast track to getting your personal barriers, uh, you know, trumped so you can be able to move forward fast. And it's really gratifying helping other people as well. There's a lot of people in this world who work day jobs and they absolutely hate their jobs. And with this, it's really gratifying to be able to help people succeed or help people achieve what it is that they're after. It's very gratifying work. It, it, at the end of the day, whenever you get home from work or whenever you finish your complete your day, it's just really satisfying to know that you did a good job helping other people achieve their dreams. And uh, it's just really rewarding whenever they give you great feedback and, and tell you how much you've helped them or helped change their lives. I've had a lot of people that you know give me credit for helping change their lives completely and uh, that feels really good to me. So it's very gratifying work. And so you're pulled to it whenever you're, whenever you're doing work that you love. You're pulled to that work instead of pushing yourself to have to do something. Uh, the interaction and relationship building with coaching and consulting people is, uh, is paramount. I've had people that have gone on to generate millions of dollars themselves and hundreds and thousands of dollars, quit their jobs, and, and on and on and on. And, and those people... A lot of them have gone on to build really good relationships with me and me with them, uh, which has helped my business because, you know, these are dynamic individuals that take the information and go out and succeed and then are able to help me with what I'm doing. For example, I mean, even my programmer that I helped uh, when he was a young guy is, is now a millionaire. You know, I have a, an old sales guy that, that's now a millionaire, an old copywriter that's really just crushing it. I mean, it, it goes on and on. Um, old um, clients that went on to become partners of mine that, you know, we generated a million dollars together. And I mean, the list just goes on and on. So the relationship building, the interaction that you have with these people and their core influence of people is uh, just priceless as well. It's extremely lucrative. It's extremely lucrative to coach and help people. You could build a $100,000 a month, a month business helping people by being a coach or consultant with them uh, in a very fast period of time. So as you go through this program, we're going to discuss all the different things that you need to know to build a lucrative um, coaching business, including step by step on what you need to do in order to, to get that rolling. Personal growth skills. I mean, one of the best ways to grow your own self is to grow your own, is to teach. 
I mean, the best way to learn anything is to uh, is to teach it and to do it, right? To do it yourself and teach it. So, for example, if I'm if I'm reading some book and I'm you know it's kind of late at night and I'm sitting on my couch and you know, I'm I'm reading some business book or something and I and I find something that's just a huge breakthrough, you know, that I re- discovered in the book, especially something that relates to me, I may go to my wife and say. Hey, check this out. I, this is what I learned, and you know, this is what I just read. Isn't that awesome? That really, you know, gels with me. It's kind of what the message I needed to get. And uh, you know, she's probably fed up with hearing that over all the years, you know, because it's always so often. But you know, by going and teaching her what I just learned is a way of just reconfirming to myself the lesson. So uh, teaching her, she, she's you know extremely nice and caring. She's my wife uh, to listen to what I have to say. But just the act of being able to teach it to somebody increases my knowledge of that particular insight that I just learned. So when you learn something, you can write it down. That helps you remember it and learn it. You can uh, do it, and that helps you remember and learn it, of course. And you can teach it. Now, also, when you know you're going to teach something, like right now I'm teaching you. So I knew before our, you know, I was going to teach this, so I had to lay out these slides and everything. And in going through this information and crystallizing it and organizing it and setting it up so I can present it to you helps me grow as well. So if I was going to teach a workshop, you know, in front of 100 people or 1,000 people and they're all in the audience and I'm teaching them with slides on the stage and with a microphone and the cameras and lights and all that stuff, yeah, sure, they may be learning, you know, a great deal of information from me, but I'm the one that's learning the most by teaching it. You understand? So personal growth for yourself, paramount to your success. Your own personal skills that you discover, paramount. Your clients will ask you questions that you don't have the answers to. And that's beautiful because you could go get the answers and they help you fill in the blanks and cover all the little problems that, you know, you may not be realizing that you're experiencing. They help you to move forward. Um, so that that helps you to grow your own skills and skills pay the bills helps you to grow your own personal growth and helps you to grow your business your knowledge your wisdom and everything so across the board it's not only lucrative it's incredibly gratifying and it's incredibly powerful for your own personal growth to coach and mentor other people so what do i coach people on though well, one of the insights to master and learn is the insight of specialized knowledge and realize just how powerful this insight is to your income. So specialized knowledge is, is you know, exactly what it says, is specializing in one specific, very specialized thing or arena. So if you were going to, let's just pick an example, let's say copywriting. Well, if you really devoted yourself to copywriting, because that's something you're fascinated with and you really love copywriting, and you really, really devoted yourself to to, to copywriting, that's called specialized knowledge. Over time, you're going to build up an expertise as a copywriter. Now, the more specific you are, like maybe headlines or long-form copy or sales copy for, for videos, for sales videos, the more specialized you are, the, the better you're going to get at that one specific thing. It's like being a brain surgeon or a brain surgeon that's, that, that, that performs surgery on aneurysms, you know, just specifically. You're a specialist, and, and by becoming a specialist at one specific thing, uh, you greatly increase your chances of being a master at that particular thing that, that you're teaching. And that makes you stand, up, stand out above the crowd and increases your particular value to the marketplace, which is what you're always looking to do, is increase your value to the marketplace. The marketplace is interested in themselves, and there's this noise in the marketplace. It's like this rumble, this noise, and everything sounds the same, and it's so loud. And all the customers in your marketplace, the people who are looking to spend money, to them, everything is so loud. But then here comes you, and you're very, very specialized in one specific thing that you do, well, you're going to stand out above that noise. You're going to sound different. You're going to look different. You're going to smell different. You're going to act different. Everything's going to be different because you're specialized. Well, that's where you can really become a success when it comes to coaching is to specialize in a specific thing. So you're one skill really away from doubling or tripling or quadrupling your income, reaching six figures or higher. You're just one skill away. So if you got really good at Amazon you know, book publishing, for example, 
then that's something that you could start getting coaching clients from that could really explode your, your income, your business, everything. It's all connected. So like what I mean by it's all connected is you focus on one skill, then you start selling an ebook, and then you start selling a membership site, and then you start doing high level coaching, and then you get invited to speak on stages, then you do workshops, then you do home study courses, and you know it's all connected. So really the the way to rise above the noise is to increase your activity and um, and go the extra mile. When you go the extra mile, you, anything that you do to rise above the noise, to, to, to be beyond the average, is going to make you stand out. And the more you stand out, the more opportunity comes flooding your way, the, more e- the easier it is to make a lot of money. Everything's connected. So go the extra mile, specialize, increase your skills, grow your own skills and knowledge and wisdom, and watch yourself grow, and, and including your income in your coaching business. So first, you must understand how the average humans live their lives. Understand that most of the human beings on this planet are not ambitious to go coach people. Most of the human beings on on this planet fit into this category of, of just being average, in my opinion. They don't push the issue. They don't work extra hard. They don't go the extra mile. They don't risk anything. They don't put themselves in uncomfortable positions and situations like to speak on stage or record a video like this or to coach people for free just to get started. They don't do things like successful people do. That's why success is so rare. Um, And average is average. It represents the masses, the herd of people. So you have to understand how the average human beings live their lives. They don't continue to educate themselves after high school or college. And if they must take a class for work, they just barely try. It's just going through the motions. So they don't continue to grow. They don't continue to invest in themselves. And they just kind of, you know, go through the motions of life. They just live lives of quiet desperation. They don't grow themselves. And most tend to be lazy. Most go out there and they just milk paychecks from their day jobs. And they just drift through life. And this is just, you know... It is what it is. But most want the easy route. They want the path of least resistance. They want to work less and make more. They want to be as lazy as they possibly can, but make tons of money. They want their cake and they want to eat it too, right? So this is kind of how how it is out there in the real world. Let's get real when we're talking about this. Most people seek the magic buttons or what we call a hit of hope. A hit of hope, that's powerful. They're just looking for some hit of hope. They don't truly plan on doing massive work or putting in massive effort or escaping comfort zones and really going on a mission. No, no, no. Or having the daily disciplines. What they're looking for is a quick hit of hope, just something that will make them feel better today because they feel rotten. Or they want a magic button that makes them excited. So most people get 10% good at a thousand different things because they continue to seek these magic buttons or these hits of hope. They're just bouncing from one thing to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. And that makes them, you know, at at most 10% good at so many different things. So they can just scratch the surface on so many things. They scratch the surface on copyright, scratch the surface on headlines, scratch the surface on graphics. They spend a little bit of time with video editing, spend a little bit of time with WordPress, a little bit of time with Amazon, a little bit of time blogging, a little bit of time on Facebook, a little bit of time on Twitter, a little bit of time, you know, they just bounce from one thing to the next to the next. At the end of the day or the end of the year or at the end of the decade even, what are they good at? Nothing. They're 10% good at tons and tons and tons of different things, but 10% is just not good enough. So they never got the specialized knowledge like we're talking about here to really, really make breakthroughs and to go that extra mile, stand out above the noise and be an expert at something. Nope. 10% good at a bunch of different things is not good enough to make any kind of breakthrough in your life. So they major in minor things. They major in minor things. They're spending most of their time doing things that aren't important instead of spending most of their time doing things that are important. So instead of getting 100% good at one major thing that changes their finances, they get 10% good at a lot of different things. They put more of their money, time, energy, and effort into the things that are not important as opposed to putting that time and energy into things that are important. Specialized knowledge is king when it comes to success, and you can gain it easily. Because we live in this great time right now, we could click a button and get an entire world's worth of information in seconds. In the past, we'd have to go to the library 
order books and courses, research it for weeks or months to get what we can now get in seconds. Okay, that makes life so much easier. And for those that hunker down and get the specialized knowledge and stick to something, that those that become non-average and just don't do what the average are doing out there, this is an incredible opportunity to make yourself a lot of money. That's why I see people from all walks of life, from all around the world, making lots and lots of money very quickly, where before they worked at Jiffy Lube or some bookstore or the gas station or the grocery store, or they were unemployed or they don't have very much experience and have never made more than $30,000 a year, all of a sudden they're making $300,000 a year because they went the extra mile, because they... Became, because they decided to not remain average, because they gained specialized knowledge, because they stuck to something instead of bouncing around. So for savvy and ambitious people, they can take huge advantage of all the information that's at their fingertips if they seek specialized knowledge and start majoring in major things instead of majoring in minor things. One topic, one skill. You know, I could take one topic like, you know, how to lower your high blood pressure, and I could study that topic for the next week or two, and I can end up knowing more about high blood pressure than 99% of the entire world knows, including people that have high blood pressure. Why is that? Because I'm sticking to one thing for at least two or three weeks. Most people that have high blood pressure may spend like 20 minutes here and there. Whenever it becomes an issue, like after they go to the doctor or something, they may come home from the doctor's office and jump on their iPad and research high blood pressure for an hour, you know, and never to be touched again until the next time they go to the doctor four or five months later, then they decide to do it again, or maybe some late night where they're having anxiety about their health. They decide to go on the computer and research a little bit. Well, that's the way the 99% of the world handles any one particular topic. But if you really get into the guts, remember what, what I'm saying right now, get into the guts of what it is that you're doing, each specific thing that you're doing, then you'll get bigger results. So I could research high blood pressure for you know, the next few weeks or so, and I'll end up learning and knowing more about high blood pressure than 99% of the world. That makes me an expert that fast. That includes about 85% of people who have high blood pressure and maybe even like 20% of doctors who treat high blood pressure because, well, maybe not doctors. But you know what? You get the point. I will know more about high blood pressure than most people who have high blood pressure. Very fast by just specializing in that information. If I study it and then I go and teach it and I get into the guts of it for months or even years, I'll be a top expert on high blood pressure in no time flat. And people will pay me money. They will throw money at me to help them. Get it? This is where you can make yourself a ton of money. But again, what does the average think? Well, the average thinks, ah, it takes too long. You know, it's like getting a college degree. Ah, four or five years? Who wants that? I need to make money now. Let me go get a job. It's that delayed gratification, that patience that's required to be successful. It's absolutely a prerequisite. But because people can't be patient, because they can't, um, stand the test of time because they can't stick to it long term because they have to have that instant gratification. They screw themselves for years and years and years and they remain average just like everybody else. Don't be average. Stick to one thing, study it, get into the guts of it for months and years and you'll be a high top expert on that particular topic in no time flat. So what is your market? Can you pick one topic and just master it? Just pick one thing and master it. Now, you can pick a few things and master those things. No big deal. But if you're just drifting, coasting, just letting the world dictate what it is that you're going to do, and you don't really have no rhyme or reason or plan to what it is that you're doing, well, then you're going to get destroyed in business. But if you, but the, the, the bare minimum that you could do is to pick one topic and master it. One topic and stick to it. One topic and teach it. One topic and learn it. One topic and do it. One topic and get in the guts of that one topic. And faster than you can realize, you'll know more about that one topic than everyone else. And like they say, in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. So if everyone's blind and you're the one that's the king because you know what it is, you know more about this one topic than everyone else does, you're quickly going to be a success and you'll know what you're talking about. Hey, here's an example. Press releases for traffic. You know, there's lots of different ways to drive traffic to any kind of site or program that you want to drive traffic to. But if you decided to just focus on press releases, 
like you know distributing writing press releases to go out there and get syndicated and stuff like that to get traffic or publicity uh very quickly you can become an expert at that you know you, here's another one split testing for conversions i mean you could very quickly become a master at that because people just bounce around and they don't really know what they're doing when it comes to either one of those two or copywriting or persuasion really getting into the guts of that can make you an expert very fast sales pay-per-click banners graphics video editing video marketing vcr repair <laughs> remember that commercial you could be a vcr repair you can do Anyway, webinars, PLR products, coaching, ebooks. I mean, you just pick one topic and get really, really good at it, and then you can become an expert very fast. Okay? Now, this is a picture of a, of a guy performing a keto, which is a form of karate. But you want to drill down into the health market, for example. You know, like the health market is a really big, giant marketplace, and that's great. But that's not very specific. It's humongous. It's like saying, I want to specialize on living in the planet Earth. Well, that's too big. You want to drill it down, right? So you could go like, okay, what about six-pack abs? That's small enough to target and master and become an expert at abs. You could become an expert at that very, very fast and, and, and have a concentrated focus, effort, energy, torque, power, in that one specific thing that you're doing and become an expert at it very, very fast and dominate that particular market. That sub niche you would dominate and be able to make money very fast. Aikido karate, for example, like in the picture there, that could be one thing that you master and then you're able to become an expert at that or a master at that and people will throw money at you to be able to show it to them. Solve problems. That's what you want to do. You want to solve problems. Stop and think about one person that you know. Can you list three problems that person has complained about? Just think of someone you know and then start saying, okay, what is that person complaining to me about? What is that person always complaining to me about? And kind of write these down. Then think of some other person and think about what are the three problems that person has you know, complained about? And then you write those down. Then you pick someone else and you write. That's a great way to figure out, like at least in your core uh, influence, uh, problems that people have that you can help solve and, and understanding that there's always an answer there's always a way there's always a solution to a problem and if you go and research it well, strong enough then you will find the answers the solutions to these problems you'll be able to help thousands and thousands if not millions of people go ahead and do this now figure out you know what are some problems that you can solve write those problems down and and do it right now because this will start changing the direction that you're going in because you can see you know clearly that people have a lot of problems and then when you start researching how to solve those problems you'll start to find the answers very very quickly okay now ricky bobby complains all this is an example ricky bobby complains all the time about being broke and having bad credit he also complains about being fat and sick all the time he also constantly says how stressed he is at work and at home guy is miserable in fact you see, what are the problems there that can be solved? There's about 5,000 things that I could sell and master from just three of Ricky Bobby's common complaints. First, he's always broke and has bad credit. What kind of products and solutions could be created there? About a zillion, right? Money management, credit repair, investing, having discipline, psychology, time management, personal development, QuickBooks, etc., etc. Investing, Forex, invest in silver and gold, ETF, stocks, annuities, bonds, life insurance, on and on. I'm an expert. You're an expert whenever you say you're an expert. You are an expert when you say you're an expert. And the reason why I say that, which could be a little bit controversial, is whenever you've studied one thing long enough, you and you you'll know you'll pass most of the world you'll know 99 more than 99 percent of the world does and then at that point you should declare yourself as an expert if you know more than someone else then you're an expert compared to that person most skim the surface on everything in life they just kind of skim the surface on and we were talking about this a second ago that you know they, they only look up high blood pressure when they get home from the doctor on their ipad or on their iPhone while they're waiting in the doctor's weight room. They don't spend too much time focusing on solving any of their problems. That's why they have repetitive problems that always come to like a broken record. You talk to Sally today and she's complaining about relationships. You talk to Sally five years from now, she's still complaining about relationships, right? 
So you can charge $1,000 for 45 days of consulting on how to get loads of traffic. You then teach them how to get tons of traffic from press releases or pay-per-click or whatever. You see? See how that works? So what if you don't know anything? You don't, what if you don't know something that they ask about? So you're, you're, in a, you're in a coaching call and then someone says, hey, what about you know, blank? And you don't know the answer to that. Well, this is a common objection to coaching. But almost every time I coach someone, they ask me something I have no clue about. Every single time. So a lot of people think, well, I got to know the answers to everything. I got to put in a good 15 years of hard, hard work and study before I'm worthy of being a coach or a consultant. No, that's not true. And so when someone asks me a question that I don't know, I simply say to them, I have no earthly idea. <laughs> okay? I mean, when someone says, well, Eric, how do I get my testing to be configured so when the pop-up comes out of the back end where the, you know, an order form shows up that's a, you know, a one-click upsell? Well, I have no idea. You know, John asked me how to propagate his DNS for a cPanel to get his gigawatt condenser properly functioning. No, I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. Well, so I simply tell John that I don't know. I have no idea how, the, how to do that. Here's what I know. But, you know, what's more important than that is you can find the answer to your gigawatt problem very easily. Let's research it together or let's go look it up or let's go find a solution to that. But usually, whatever it is that John's trying to succeed at, I mean, that little question that he has is not really important to his success. You understand? That's not your role unless your role is to be a gigawatt condenser expert. Does that make sense? Fears. Let's talk about that for a second. The single biggest reason most people refrain from coaching are all the different types of fears that come into play. Fears of ridicule is a big one. They're afraid that people are going to laugh or make fun of them or you know, ridicule them for their coaching. Fears of embar especially fears of ridicule from the public for offering coaching. That's a big one. I don't know if I want to offer coaching because everyone's going to make fun of me because I haven't been doing this that long. So that's why I say declare yourself an expert now so those fears of ridicule start getting trumped because that's just all in your own head. The only ones that would ever ridicule you sometimes are your own personal peers and uh, they're, they're usually not the ones buying from you. And anyone in the marketplace that ridicules you, well, they just have problems. And that's just part of the cost of doing business is you're always going to get ridiculed, so just deal with it. Fears of embarrassment, fears of failure, fears of success, fears of work ethic. Like, that's a big one. A lot of people think, well, oh, it's going to be so much work, so much hard work. It's not. It's just not. And even if it was hard work, so what? If you're doing what you love and it's, it's satisfying and grateful, then it's fun. You know, if you love watching television eight hours a day, is that hard work? Some would think it would be, those that aren't into television. But if it's something that you're into, it's not considered work at all. It feels good. Uh, fears of being uncomfortable, fears, fears, just fears, fears, tons of fears prevent people from moving forward. So what if you conquered all of your fears and just destroyed them and didn't have fears anymore? What would you do consulting-wise? Think about these fears that prevent you from moving forward as a six-figure coach. And then imagine you had no fears. None. What would you do? What kind of person would you be? How would you act? What would you say? You know, you start looking at yourself from that perspective. And it kind of changes everything, doesn't it? Here's the best way I know to defeat these fears. Start coaching for free. So if you want to be a coach or six-figure coach or seven-figure coach and you have all these fears, then I say go out and start doing it for free. Who's going to who's gonna complain about free coaching? And if they do, then you're not going to feel so bad. You're going to say, it's free, you idiot. Why are you ridiculing me, right? So just go out and do it for free and watch what happens. If you fail, so what? They don't. It's not like they paid you anything, right? If they don't like you, so what? If you end up not wanting to coach ever again, so what? There will be no refunds that you have to deal with because it was free. It's practice. You can test it all out for free. You can get a group of people following you coaching for free. You can do one-on-one -on -one coaching for free just to see how you like it and how good you, you are at it or if you even want to continue doing it and if they're getting any value out of it. Just try it for free first. And you'll see how much people appreciate you. You'll, you'll realize how much you do know. 
and you'll you, you'll realize more than you really even realize now how much they will appreciate you. You'll you'll just you're standing up as a leader, and just because you're standing on stage, even if you're doing this online or Skype or via email, you're standing up on stage and you're putting yourself up on a pedestal and you're standing out above the noise and you're you're putting yourself in the leadership type position they will severely admire you and appreciate you just for doing that like for example i remember going to a, a comedy event and there was this comedian that was you know doing his act on stage and he was terrible it wasn't funny at all i mean none of the jokes were funny but people were still laughing why is that well because it's all about them not the person on stage they want to have a good time and laugh so they're going to laugh even if it's not that funny so I mean, if you look at that from a coaching point of view, they're going to admire you just because you're being a coach. They're going to follow your directions because you stood up on the top and said, I'm a coach. hope that makes sense to you. You can compile testimonials that will help you sell your coaching services later, which is called social proof. So if you start out doing this for free, you're going to start getting people that, and you can even tell them that's why you're doing it free. I'm doing this free to, to, to compile testimonials. Because I'm going to sell this service later on, but I want to prove first that this is uh, really beneficial, and uh, so you know that's what you could do there too. Do you want to succeed? Then do it despite money. Just forget about money right now. Put it on the shelf. Don't even think about money. Who cares about money? Let's just look at it from doing what needs to be done. If you want to be a top chef, for example, then go start cooking even for free right now. You want to be a singer then go start singing right now for free even. You want to be a marketing coach? Then start coaching. You want a speaker? Start speaking. You know, just start doing whatever it is you need to do. An athlete, start running and exercising. An actor, start acting. Guitarist, start playing the guitar. Just go start doing it for free. Despite money, forget about money. Money is just a byproduct. You don't even need money for anything. Just go do it and get the ball rolling. Do coaching for free and just focus on one thing, helping people. Just think of it to yourself. What can I do to help people? Even if I do it for free, what can I help people on? And then just start helping people. Just start doing it. Just think of it from the manner of your job is to help people. They all have problems and challenges and concerns and obstacles and speed bumps and personal issues. What if you could just help people? Even if you only have two people show up, do it anyway. Act like they're 200 or 2,000 people. Just do it for free. Start out doing it for free and watch what happens. If you currently have an ebook, then just add coaching to it. That's what I did. One of my first products, one of the first times I ever started coaching people was simply because I added a free 30 minute consultation to anyone that bought an ebook from me as a bonus for buying that ebook from me. Most of the people didn't take me up on the coaching, but some did. And to me, it was free, but it was helping me increase my conversions. And then I quickly learned how much I loved coaching and teaching. And it turned me on to a whole new world that has made me millions of dollars. So I'm telling you, do it for free and then watch how exciting it becomes. You'll feel great about yourself and you'll be shocked at how much people admire, appreciate, and love what you're doing for them. So thanks a lot. We'll see you on the next video.